First, we're going to need to take stock of all of our necessary equipment. First, we have our camera body, our magazine, our lens, our battery adapter, our onboard battery, our pistol grip, speed rail, and our mat box unit. All of these things will be necessary in order to properly build the Aeroflex SR2. So let's get started. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the camera body to the tripod. And you see that we have our plate already installed on the bottom of our camera body. So we're going to slide it in from back to front. And I hear a click. And then the last part of the process is to tighten it down with this lever here. And now I know this camera body is not going to go anywhere. The next thing we can do is we can attach the magazine to the camera body. Whenever possible, uh, you're encouraged to make use of the aperture cover plate and the magazine cover plate. This keeps the magazine and the gate clean. A clean magazine, a clean gate makes for a clean image. So use those whenever you do not have a magazine attached to the camera body. To remove the magazine uh, plate cover, I simply push up, kick the bottom out, and remove. And as well with the aperture plate cover. Grip on either side, thumb and forefinger, push directly up, kick the bottom out, and remove. And now I'm going to attach the magazine to the camera body. The way I do that is this crossbar here corresponds with an opening there on the camera body. And you see that I'm still holding this at about a 45 degree angle or so. And what I'm going to do is firmly, not, not too hard, but not too soft, uh, drop the magazine into place. And the last thing I'll do is lock it with this small lever on top of the magazine. To remove, unlock, push this button here. Again, pull the bottom out, and then remove the top. The next thing I'll do is I will attach the battery adapter. And this battery adapter is for use with onboard batteries. And back here, you have a four pin connection right on the rear of the camera underneath the magazine. And that corresponds to where the battery adapter goes. And I tighten the uh, screw there, only finger tight. And now I'm ready to attach our onboard battery. Now, when you attach the onboard battery, you have to make sure that you provide this battery adapter with support because this battery fits onto the stem here, but there's a lot of resistance. And if I just attach the battery and push, I'll eventually start to weaken this connection here in the battery adapter, and eventually it will break. So what I like to do is support it with the palm of my hand and push the magazine on. And then you see, again, it's at about a 45 degree angle. I simply bring it up and into place, and there's a magnetic connection here that marries it with the magazine. And to take the battery off, I'll pinch this battery adapter with my thumb and forefinger, providing some support so that I'm not you know, weakening that connection by just pulling off the battery. And there we go. The next thing we'll deal with is the lens. And of course, the lens is probably one of the more important parts of the camera. Of course, all parts are important. It won't function without any of its parts. Uh, but the lens is something that's very delicate. There's a lot of glass involved. So you want to be careful when handling that. First, what we need to do is we need to remove certain lens caps. The rear cap, which fits over the rear element of the lens, needs to be removed. And also, the lens mount cap needs to be removed from the camera, from the lens mount. And now we're ready to mount the lens. Along this back metallic ring here, we have two metal teeth of sorts that correspond with slots or openings in the lens mount. There are only two, so there's two different ways you can mount it. You can mount it here, like this. So you have all of your necessary numbers and measurements on this side of the camera. Or I can rotate it 180 degrees, mount it this way, and have all of the necessary measurements on this side of the camera. It all depends on what the camera operator and the camera assistant agree upon. It's important to make sure that everything corresponds and that when you're applying the lens or inserting the lens, that it's not done quickly or haphazardly, but it's done with, with a slow, deliberate precision, finding where everything matches up. And then I'm going to rotate clockwise a few degrees. And I hear that click, and I know that the lens is mounted properly. Now to remove the lens, we have twin release buttons on either side of the lens mount that need to be pressed 
and then the lens needs to be rotated counterclockwise a few degrees and then pulled out. Now the way I like to do this is again I like to cradle the lens here, use my two forefingers to press the button and kind of hold onto the lens with my thumbs. Rotate counterclockwise, pull the lens out very gently and I have my lens. So now that we have the basic elements um, mounted on the camera, we have our onboard battery, magazine, of course our camera body, and our lens. Now it's time for some of the accessories to be attached. Uh, the first one I'm going to detail is the pistol grip. There are threads here that correspond to the screw on the uh, pistol grip. And I'm going to go ahead, find that, and then use the little wing nut here to lock that in place. And then as well, I'm going to attach this small connection here. And what this allows me to do is operate the camera or turn the camera on and off from the pistol grip. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the speed rails and we're also going to attach the um, matte box unit to this camera. The speed rails fit right underneath the lens here and they drop down into position and then with the knuckle or the screw here provided, just finger tight, just finger tight. The next piece is what I call a bridge and it slides onto the end of these speed rails here and then there's a small fastener here underneath it. Again, just finger tight connection. Now we're going to attach this extension rod to the bridge. Now that we have our extension rod attached to the bridge, we can now attach our mat box. And this is a universal mat box, so there might be some slight adjustments necessary to place it right over the lens. So that concludes our tutorial today on how to build and break down the Airflex SRT camera. Thanks for watching.